Hello everybody, welcome back to Ham Franks playing Baba Is You, where we are on probably the second to last or maybe third to last episode, I think. Last time we were, we were playing this game, I solved, I managed to get to first of all, and then I solved this level right here that the cursor is on top of. And uh, I have been told, I have been actually been assured, or whatever the word is, that yes, there is a way to get the cursor to become a level two. Uh, I just need to figure out how to do that. It's some kind of combination of what I was doing last time. But uh, before I do any of that, that's not going to happen this episode. It's been a while since I played this game last because that when that episode came out, it had already been like oh, a week since that was recorded. And since the episode came out, it's been another week and a half. So I haven't been playing this game in forever. I don't know why, but I sort of just went on a, went on an unannounced hiatus. I didn't even know myself I was going to do it. So uh, let's ease back into the game, why don't we? I want to do something special today. I want to go... Don't worry, I'll save this level, the end, for later. I have a feeling this is going to be the end of the game. But I do want to go to the gallery that I have already solved. I want to go here and I want... to do something that I maybe should have done first thing I got in here. The word one is right here. I did I, I did acknowledge that last time I was here, that the word one was right here. Something I maybe should also acknowledge is the fact, let me go back to the map, just quickly, that uh, as soon as I got in here the first time, there was a gate right around here where the, um, where the cursor is right now. There was a gate that opened, uh, and I did notice that in the, you know, when I was editing, but I actually didn't notice it as I came in here the first time. It was a gate that you had to collect three bubbles, the three orbs. You know, I, I just collected the last one when I got in here. Uh, you had to collect those to get to this gallery. So this is, uh, in a way, the most secret place of them all. Uh, maybe except for that one un unlisted level uh, that's inside the cursor. Well, uh, let's just do this. Let's make image one, because apparently that is what I have to do. What is this? A very early version of the game. Oh, interesting. And it actually tells me what it what it is over here. So I can just go behind the level or, or the the image. Okay, sure. So this is how I do it. I think this could have been telegraphed or something. A bit telegraphed isn't the right word, but communicated a bit a bit cl more clearly if they wanted me to find out that I had to put in numbers. Or I guess I guess that's the system here. Let's try and put in two. I do have. The letters that I need to do that. So let's do it. What's this? Mock-ups made while figuring out the art style. Oh, so initially, Baba... There's a... Okay, this is interesting. Right over here, this uh, bottom right one is very detailed compared to what we got. I'm kind of glad it didn't end up being that detailed because that's really not what the game is about. The game is about the simplistic nature of it all. But look at that. Baba ne uh, once was... A bird with a sombrero? It also once was a robot? It's that's interesting. I feel like I feel like what we ended up with is both more simplistic but also kinda of looks more like someone called Baba, don't you think? Okay, I might not go through all of these because these are not really levels. I was thinking there would be something over here that I could interact with. Like physically interact with whatever was in the uh, image, but that is not how it's gonna work, it seems. Let's just have a look at three. I don't know how many of these there are. Well, I guess that depends on how many words I can... Sp oh, whoa, oh, this is changing. How many words I can spell out. Uh, early test for different palettes. Oh, yeah, right. That's something I've been noticing. I've talked about it only briefly. I don't know if these are going to be very interesting to you know for me to commentate because these are interesting. I'm enjoying looking at these old versions of, of the game and, you know, having get an idea of how this game was made, but I mean, you might as well check this out on your own. I am not here to just look at stuff. I'm not a React channel. I'm uh, I'm more than that. I solve puzzles. A very early version of the map. Oh wow, that's, yeah, that's, that's boring. Glad that changed, but of course, everything is subject to change when you first start making a game. Let's just, let's just leave. This is interesting and all, but this is not what I want to spend this whole video doing. I want to go do something. I want to go achieve... Oh, this is not where I needed to go. No, uh, okay, well, let's just get away from here. Let's go to the meta map. I want to achieve something. I want to get closer to, you know, that ever-increasing ever, ever increasing number up here. I want to get it to 225. 
and uh, well, hopefully 226. I hopefully can get that extra bonus unlisted level. Uh, you know, I can also get that. Uh, as I said, I have an idea as to how to get there. But right now, what I want to do is just complete some of the other levels that are in the meta map. Doop, 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 open that door and get right down here. This level, the one that I turned into the word level, breaking and entering, I never solved that and I failed to mention that when I was listing off, uh, list, last episode when I was listing off the different levels that I hadn't solved yet. Now, uh, right off the bat in this level, we have a choice. What are we gonna sink? What do we want to sink in order to get out of this room? First of all, we have to sink something to get out of the room and I'm guessing that is gonna be we're gonna want to do that, you know, through the wall on the right here. Then we could take one of these words and push that into this water right here. But, but I think a lot of the level, or at least this first choice is very important because of course, you know this game, of course we will need to do something with the words that we choose not to sink. You know what I think? I think push maybe? I don't know. Hmm, it's hard. It's, it's hard to decide, right? Because rock, rock seems like it might be the thing I want to sink because, you know, there is only one rock and the, only only the one word rock and once I sink them, I can still go on with the level. So I guess that's what I'm going to try and do first of all. Let's see what else we can do now. The thing that was interesting about this level, the thing that actually really confused me last time, and I, I haven't found an immediate solution to this, the thing that confused me, first of all, is even if I get to this win, even if I get to the other side of this win by going through all those doors right above me, even if I get there, how am I gonna how am I gonna retrieve the word win? How am I gonna make a sentence using the word win? And what I think I can do, I guess, is I can push the word win down to here where Baba is right now, and I can put the word is right above that, and then somehow I'll need to get. I'll need to get a word on on top of that, right? Like a, a word right where the Baba is right now. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that. Uh, like may, maybe I think the only thing I can do is put the flag there, but I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that either. So uh, yeah, that is interesting. You know what I could do? I could push a flag in here, then make flag not push. Yeah. Uh, that makes me also, just uh, as a tangent, I want to mention how I think push is definitely one of the words that I need to keep. Because if I don't have push, how am I going to move stuff around? The only thing I can move around right now is Baba, but I don't have Baba as a word, so I can't manipulate with Baba in any way. No. So I need to keep the push, so that's good. I did that. So I need to push the flag right in here and then make it non-pushable. Then push the word when down to the other side of the flag and then push the word is right in here where the Baba is right now. That would actually make the sentence flag is when because flag is word. I maybe should have mentioned that. Okay, so great. We need the flag to be over there, but we also need flags to be up here and lots of flags, not just one. We need tons of flags, six flags in all, because we, we need to get these doors open. So I guess the whole premise of this level is we want to make more stuff. We want to make more. How do we do that? Well, I guess it has something to do with making things be other things and making things have other things. In fact, I think we've got too many is's. I think we've got one too many of this word is, don't you think? I think so, maybe not. Alright, so I've chosen to keep the word rock and the word push uh, from that first room, from that initial room, and I want to bring them in here. Push because I need to be able to push stuff around when I get more of them. And rock because I need another noun, I think. Because right now I've got three nouns. Rock, text, and then I've got the flag, which is a noun because it's a word, right? I, I guess I need more nouns somehow, but I think maybe I'm able to, I'll be able to do it. I'm not sure, but... I mean, I could hope. So, uh, we also got this abundance of water. I haven't mentioned it, but I'm pretty sure that means we're gonna have to sink some stuff and make the stuff that we sink have other stuff. You know, using the word has. 
I'm pretty sure that is the key to this level. The word has, and then all of this water. I just need to figure out how. And once again, the goal that we're trying to achieve is getting a bunch of flags. Uh, so I was going to try and get another noun so I could put words in a cross like this. Like this and then have something be right where Baba is too. So we could have all sorts of stuff become other stuff and maybe get two, get another instance of the word flag to, to make the flag into all, you know, all kinds of different stuff. But actually what I thought, I just came up with this. How about we just put a word on top of a flag? That way we could have something be two different things just by using the flag as a word like like this text has rock and uh, and and text has flag so right now text has two different things that's definitely what we want isn't it i'm pretty sure that's what we want how do we do how do we hmm but what what text do we sync in order to get this flag and this rock that is the question well i guess we could sync the we could sync the word rock that is the only thing that is kind of expendable right now. So let's let's make the flag push in order to push this sentence along like this. And I guess let's... Wait, this is stupid. No, why am I doing this? I'm also going to sink the flag as I do this. So it's just going to give me a rock and a flag. Why did I... Why oh why did I do that? And now... Now I died. Alright, so... Well, I guess... There's still a future in this. I can... Get the flag out of there? Text is, okay, right, sure. Now I've got a rock, but I, I can't do anything with the rock because the rock isn't word. Okay, well, this was a failure. I'm gonna try and do something else using that same concept. All right, so I'm having a hard time uh, trying to figure out how to use this word rock for anything. So I'm just gonna make the text, the word have a flag inside it. Just turn it into a flag with maybe with two flags. There must be something I could do with two flags, right? Maybe, just maybe, if I put two flags on top of each other, like maybe if there, if there were two flags right here, right? Maybe that would let me... Let me just think. Let me think. If I have two flags on top of each other, that means I could have the sentence text has flag along with the sentence text has flag. Technically, that would be two different sentences. But would that, would that mean that the text would have two different flags so that when... It, would, it wouldn't matter anyways, because because flags on top of flags... Yeah, I, there's no way to get those off of each other anyways, so it would be just be one flag, in, you know, practically. Hmm. Alright, so it really... I've been thinking about this for a couple minutes. It really shouldn't be as hard as I'm making it out to be. Let's just take some text, that would be this rock, turn it into a flag. And let's, let's make the flag have two different things. Let's make the flag have a flag while the flag also has something else. How about that? Yeah, the flag is also gonna have text. Right. Yes, that's what I want to do. That way I can start making more of stuff, right? Yes, so flag needs to become push. I can do that. Uh, let's, uh, let's put those words right next to this flag, like that. There we go, flag is push. Now, let's get this other flag down to a place where I want it. I want it to be right here, is what I think. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Well, maybe I should just do this as I speak. Although, th then I, I'll have to try and remember what I'm trying to do while I speak. So, that's always a challenge. I want to make this flag have flag. Well, so I guess... There we go, it has flag. Now, before I make the flag push, actually, let's put the word text right on top of that word flag. So now this flag that is, you know, furthest to the left, that flag has text. It also has flag. So when I now push this whole sentence to the, to the left, that flag is going to turn into a flag and some text. Yes. Nice. So if I just turn flags, not push, I could push this text off of the flags. Would you look at that? It worked. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, I guess let's push flag. Let, 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 hey, let's do all, all that again. We just made the word, we just made the word flag appear. So now we've got more things that we started with. So actually, now what we could do is we could just have, 
You could have flag, have flag, like that. Yes. Let's uh, make that sentence li like so. And then let's have flag, have text by putting the word text on top of there. There we go. So now we've got an even, even better system where we could just push flags around. Uh, okay, that's not going to work. Let's, uh, let's do like this. Okay, so this right here is going to be uh, the system behind what we're going to be doing. So we're going to take this one flag that we've got, the spare flag that we just made, and we're going to just push it into stuff. There we go. Now we've got the word flag on top of that flag. Let's uh, make text not push again so that we can get this word flag off of the actual flag. There we go. Let's do, so I guess what we're, what we're doing right now is we're just making a bunch of words that say flag. Then when we have got, when we have made all these words that say flag, it's going to be a little bit of a tedious process. I might not be doing this in the best way. But once we've done all this, that is when we can turn all that text into actual flags. Yeah. Oh, what did we do? What did I, what, oh, I, I used the text. I, stupid. All right, there we go. Let's, uh, let's just cut. All right, so I might have gone a little bit overboard, but, uh, well, here we are. I made a bunch of words that all say flag. We've still got a bunch of water left, too. So now let's take these words and turn them into actual flags. So I guess we'll have to dismantle this sentence down here. Uh, let's make the text have flag. Uh, like so. So now what we can do is we can just push this text into the water and we'll get a bunch of flags. Yes! This is exactly what we want. There we go, there we go. Make that text into flags. Now we won't really need any more than this. This is, oh, this is plenty. This is plenty. Let's uh, stop uh, while it's fun, right? And um, let's go on. What's the next part of our plan? I guess what we want to do now is place a flag, like an actual flag, not, not the word flag. Let's place a flag, make one push, and take one of these. This will be the, uh, this one, and put it right underneath the word win, like that. Now, I guess we'll want to open all of these doors. Yes! This is it, isn't it? Yeah, I think we just solved this level. That wasn't too bad at all. Just solid, logical thinking. I didn't do it all in one, uh, like, in one single take. Like, I didn't, I d did have to cut. But, I mean, that's the, that's, that's just the nature of these last couple of levels. I'm glad... I managed to not speak the entire time because that takes some effort to cut up. When, when I just keep on speaking, I have to cut in between sentences and make it all look fluid. Alright, so we are, we are done, aren't we? Uh, the flag is no longer pushed, so let's push the word when down underneath this flag, and then let's go and fetch the word is that we did save. There we go. Let's put the word is right there. So now flags are when. We've got two flags to choose between. Let's just choose the one right down here at the pipe. Touch it. And there we go. Congratulations. I solved the level. So that is 223 dandelion uh, petals. We still have two left to solve. Now, one of the puzzles levels I have left to, left to complete is the one that's called The End. I'll save that for next episode. Or maybe the episode after that. Depending on how this all works out. But... I think we could do with another puzzle this this episode. Am I right or am I wrong? We've got one more puzzle that we could solve potentially right up here at the top. The third one of the super secret puzzles up at the top. Okay, they're, they're not so secret. They're very easy to see. But let's get up here. Let's just get the cursor to where it needs to be. Power generator. Mm hmm. Okay, let's try and solve the level called power generator. Okay, so once again, we're back in the uh, solitary island uh, color palette. Uh, and uh, what do we have here? A bunch of empty. This is not something I encountered last time I was in the solitary island. Okay, but actually, not too much going on here, is there? Well, I did say that, but I guess what I should have said, it's, it's not too large of a level. And I've got free reign. Oh, hey, what? What was that? Why? Why, why did I? Why does this sink me? Oh. I see. Baba near empty is sink. So in effect, that means that if I ever step onto one of the tiles that are on the outskirts here, 
I sink, I die. Okay, so that is an interesting way of constricting me or confining me to this this very small space. Baba near empty is sink, and I can't make empty not empty. Also, empty is not move. So I guess all of those rules are there, maybe just to prevent me to prevent me from interacting with the words up there, like by pushing words up to that sentence. But yet again, that is pretty much the only thing I could do, interact with that sentence, because I don't have any nouns inside this little box. Okay, so I, I, I guess this is good. I like this because I don't have much I could do. So that, that gives me, you know, not a lot to do. So it, it leaves less room for error and more room for solving this actual puzzle. So I guess what I could, there are four things I could do, four combinations. I could make Baba move. I could make Baba push, depending on how I, which sentence I push up there. There we go. We could make Baba push like that. We also make empty move or empty push. Well, I guess, first of all, empty, I don't want to make it move because empty cannot be moved. There's a rule stating that empty cannot be moved. The other thing I could do with empty is I could make it push. Sure. But in order to push empty, I would need to, I would need to get out there myself, or I guess I could use a word for that, but I, at the, by the time I've made empty push, I've already pushed all my words up here, right? So that's not it. What else? What else could I do? Mm, I can't get near empty to push it. No, that's not, that's not how it works. I could make Baba move. Yes, I could do that. And, uh, well, by making Baba move, I, I'm able to move twice. So, I guess that way I'll be able to get to move twice and get across this one tile. I won't die if I am on empty. It's only if I'm on tile while... It's only if I'm on something while I'm also near the empty. So, if, it, if I could just get to the empty before I touch that tile, I should be golden. Let's try and do that. Baba is move, and then let's move up. Haha, <laughs> like so. So I'm near empty right now, so that means I am sink, but just because I'm sink, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna sink anything. And only if I sink something do I disappear and die, right? Perfect. So I can't I can't get the word pushback. Maybe I could, but right right now it doesn't seem like I can, so let's see what we could do instead. What do we actually want to do now? Baba is you and when. It seems like that is what we want to do. We want to make Baba win. So, pipe is stop, bolt is defeat, okay, well, okay, huh, it's not as easy as it first seems like it is, I'll get, I'll need to use something, I'll need to use something to, to push the word win in there, what will I need to use, well, I guess, I don't know, I can't make empty move, once again, I can't do that, so that is not an option. I guess here, here's something I could do, I didn't even think of this. Baba and Nier, I, I have all these words up here that I can play with. Alright, so now I've got oh, this whole level to myself. I can walk wherever I choose, except for behind the pipes. So now, ooh -ha. <laughs> this leaves me with a lot of possibilities for sentences. What, what, what does this... All these bolts in here, these are... These are arranged in a very specific manner, aren't they? There must be some very specific thing I can do with the bolt, bolts laid out in the way they are. I just, uh, I don't see exactly what, but uh, I could think about it for a while. Just, just to give me a moment. Actually, um, before I sit down and think for a moment, maybe, maybe I should actually just on camera recognize what I have to work with here. I've got two nouns, and those are Baba and Empty. Then I've got um, I've got, like, one indicator. That's not the word, but I, I, re I forget what, like, one operator, whatever. Uh, the word near, I could use that for something. Don't know exactly what. It seems to me like I'm gonna have to use the word empty for something, right? It's, it's got to be that. I, so I got to use the word empty to maybe... To, to get the word win in... Well, I guess... Sure, I could I could do that. I could make empty push. Like yeah yeah yeah. Like uh like this. Actually, what happens if I make empty sink? 
Yeah, that does nothing because empty has to be on top of something. Oh. Well, that's right. Making empty move, that actually does introduce some problems, does it not? It does. Okay, well, what I was thinking is if I could make empty move, uh, empty push, sorry. If I could make empty push, I could use that to push the word when in there. Because I could push the word, I could push the empty that's in front of me right now, I guess, into the win. I think that would work. I, th I do think that that would work. So it's just a question of exactly how do I do that. I guess I have to make empty near something? Push? I guess that is the, f the catch here? Empty near Baba could become push. Yeah! Oh yes, empty near Baba is push. Normally when I turn empty push, my problem is that all of the empty becomes push. And then suddenly, I'm, when I'm trying to move, I'm trying to push a whole pillar or a whole row of, uh, of emptiness. I'm trying to push it all and I can't because the wall is, you know, is all the way at the other side of the map or the, the level, you know, blocking me, blocking me from pushing all of that. But when empty near Baba is push, that only means, yeah, look at that. That, that. that just means that I'm pushing the emptiness that's right around me and I'm not pushing all the emptiness in the entire level. So that means I can move around, but I can also... Ah, mm, it means I... It does mean I can move around, but it, it also means I can't move close to anything. Hmm, okay, that's an interesting restriction. Well, I guess if I just go in, come in from the corner like, like this, I can get in here. So now I could move right in here and, and that was it. Okay, uh, well, <laughs> I guess I didn't need to think for a whole long time about that. And, oh yeah, that's right. I just completed the whole area. That's also true. Hey, fantastic place to end the episode. Let's do that right now by going to the map. And, and you know, maybe continuing back to the map that came before all, all of these. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Now we've got another flower on this map. Now all we need to do is we need to go to the center, the one with the end in it. And we want to complete that level. And I guess after that, all that's left to do is that one secret level. Yeah, that that is all we have to do. I'm so close to completion. I didn't think I'd ever get here. Or I, did, I didn't think it would take this long, but I, I do have to admit, I started to doubt whether or not I would actually make it to the end. Okay, now that is, that's over sensationalizing it. I did think I was gonna make it to the end, but it certainly has taken a long time, has it not? Yes. All right, so see you next episode when we do the last of the 225 levels. And of course, the final hidden level that is inside the cursor in the meta map. I don't think there's much more for me to say other than thank you for watching this episode of Hamfrags playing Baba is You. If you enjoyed it, that's great. Have a nice day and bye bye.